And now we have a winner of the first ever CBS4 Nat Moore Trophy. Four of the best and brightest in local high school football walked into the Hard Rock Stadium last night, but only one walked out with the award named in honor of the Miami Dolphins legend. CBS4's Jim Barry is joining us now with much more. Jim, what a great night this was. It surely was. You know, it was a great night to honor the best of the best here in South Florida. And our first CBS4 Nat Moore Trophy winner ended up being the perfect blend of ability and humility. From Christopher Columbus High School, Mr. Henry Parrish is the winner of the CBS4 Nat Moore Trophy. When Henry Parrish stepped to the stage last night as the winner, he was carrying the pride of a family with him. A message they had given a long time ago had stuck. They always preach to me and my brothers like, when we used to play football, just keep going. Don't ever quit, don't stop, because they never quit. So I'm not going to give up on my parents, and they're not going to give up on me. There you go. Well said. At one point in time, he did want to give up. And I told him, you're not a quitter, so you got to keep moving forward. And that's what he did, so I am very proud of him. Parrish this season was a human highlight reel, galloping for more than 2,000 yards and scoring 31 touchdowns. Every Friday night, whether you go to a Columbus game, or you're sitting at home for the highlights, <laughs> you're going to see Henry go 70 or 80 yards, it seems like, every night. One of his runs got him national recognition. His energy level amazed even his coach. He just never quits. He, he's never going to go down. So that's he literally gives it his all each and every play. So there's times when you think the play is going to be over and you start thinking about the next play to call, and he's still going. He's, he's an amazing young man and very deserving of this honor. Paris shared the spotlight with three other impressive finalists. Derek Wingo of St. Thomas Aquinas, Donald Cheney Jr. of Belen Jesuit, and Isaiah Walker of Miami Norland. They heard the man for whom this award was named talk about the important life lesson of teamwork. It's about working hard, believing in yourself, and even more so, trying to get better each and every day, trying to get smarter each and every day, and realizing that if you do your part, you're part of a team, you'll have success. It's about selfless players, it's about teamwork. Henry Parrish came in styling and left the event smiling. He made local history by being the first to take home a coveted trophy. But his down-to-earth dad hopes this is just the beginning. I'm happy that he, he just got to keep moving. I hope it don't stop here and go to the next level and finish and win the Heisman next. Hey, why not? Parrish's work this season, though, is not done. His team plays for a state championship Friday in Daytona Beach. And soon after, Parrish will be bound for the University of Pittsburgh. Good for him. You know what I love about one. this? Not only a great experience for those four, mm -hmm. but now it gives all the kids in high school something new to aspire to. Absolutely. To work I got an email saying that very same Did thing. You? And uh, this lady pointed out how this could really inspire kids to say, you know what, I want to be on that stage next That's year right. or the year after. Absolutely. So such a positive message all the way over. Around. And good thing he's a strong kid because that is one heavy trophy. Right? <laughs> You're right. And Henry, don't forget us, man, when you blow up, okay? Uh, right. <laughs> well, well done to all of them all and right. to you all for right. doing this. Thanks, Jim. Absolutely. Jim, thanks, thanks a lot. Uh -huh.